I think we all thought, you know, the English girls would be used to the rain and the weather and you know, slide tackles and the English football, but you know, Spain played a really good game and you know, for them to get the ball down and play in that kind of weather, I think we've just got the utmost respect for them, if anything. But like I said, they didn't create a lot of chances and that's maybe what they're missing as a team, but we're happy with the result and we're happy with the way that we performed and you know, all the best for, for the Spanish team and I can imagine they're going to go far in the tournament. Portugal, so they'll be looking to get a result because that'll be them through as well and they're probably in between Scotland and in, uh, in Spain and the technical ability. I think they're quite a, a young team in terms of the tournament. This is their first tournament. You know, they're probably a few years behind Spain in the development of the women's game. Uh, but we've watched a few. Well, we watched their first game. Uh, we've seen them play. We've watched their, some of their qualifying games, and they've got some good players. Uh, a few players that I've played with and against and we know a bit about them so we'll see what they have to offer come this week. Our fans have been exceptional for both games, you know we know a lot of people's family and friends have travelled and a lot of the hardcore England women's fans have come and I think Mark said it previously in the press con conference they were like our 12th man today I think they really brought the best out of the girls especially in the last couple of minutes where we, we dug deep to, to get an extra goal for kind of comfort but uh, we hope to see them all at the Portugal game and as we come, carry on the competition hopefully more and more get behind us and we really get that backing like we felt like we had in Canada but in person.